Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to create the makeup that I'm wearing right now. I was inspired by this top that I recently purchased. I was thinking, okay, I want to do something that has color, but then in the same time that's kind of neutral. And so this is what I came out with. This is great for a party. This is great for New Year's. It's great for Christmas if you decide to get a little bit more festive, even if, even if you still wear your sweatpants and your sweatshirt. But if you apply a little bit of makeup, you know, you're going to get into that Christmassy vibe. Enough talking. Before we get into this look, please make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Click on the ring bell button so you'll be notified whenever I'm posting new videos like this. So you guys will have inspiration all the time. Now, if you'd like to see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Very happy to announce my fellow French friends in here that Ulle Henriksen is going to come to France next year. So stay tuned. Huda Beauty Tantor in the color Fair F03 Sigma brush. As you guys know, I like to start with the contour. I just think that it's just so much more delicate looking. Some people ask me what is the difference between this product and the Tom Ford and the main difference would be the finish. This is a matte finish and the Tom Ford it has a very dewy, very luminous finish. With a 226 brush from Zoeva, I'm going to contour the nose as well. I'm just back to my first love, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 3.5. I'm using a MAC 130 brush and I apply the foundation in the parts of the face where I did not apply that contour. And then with what is left on my brush, I'm going to start to diffuse the contour. And you will see once you mix it with your foundation, it's going to first become less orange. And second of all, it will be so much more subtle and it will become indetectable on the skin. Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is in the color Custard. A little goes a long way with this one. This is extremely high coverage. And what I can tell you about this is that even if it has so much coverage, it's still very hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid. It's a great, great concealer with a huge capacity of concealing imperfections and dark circles or whatever you want to hide. Sephora 57 brush. I typically apply concealer on the brow bone, just what's left on the brush, but I don't like to apply it like right here on the mobile lid. Glossier Brow Flick. Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've got two gorgeous eyeshadows from Shantikai. Here they are. The packaging is also very, very pretty. Basically, Shantikai created this collection, uh, this safari collection, to also help the animals. So if you're going to get any uh, makeup product from this collection, a part of it is going to go to rescuing these animals. So I'm going to use first the Lion, which is the Golden Copper, using a Sigma E55 brush. And what I love about this color is that it actually looks like I've got a different color in the crease, but it's actually the same one. Now I'll take a Refer P21 brush. You could use any flat brush for this step. And I apply this in the inner corner. If I apply a black liner, the contrast would be so big. I still wanted to have like contrast, but not as big as it is with black. 
So I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eyeliner. This is waterproof and it's in the color D60. I keep this in my kit along with the similar one from Bobbi Brown because I prefer to use brown eyeliner. It's softer and it's also much more forgiving. I've also applied a little bit of that liner on the inner corner. Take a smudger brush, that lion eyeshadow, I'm applying it on the lower lash line. Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. MAC Extended Play Chica Black Lash. Mascara on the lower lashes. I'm going to line the lips using the Lip Liner from Nude Envy. This is in the color Perfect. I like to just go over with my finger on top of the lip liner because this is a very creamy one. So you could spread it pretty much all over the lip. I'm using Dosa Color Lipstick in the color No Shade. This is the Desi and Katie collection and it's still available at Ulta. I'm going to mix these two Glossier Cloud Paint. One is in Storm and the other one is in Beam. Storm is so pretty. A lot of people would be afraid of this but it's just so pretty. I'm using this Kat Von D Locket brush. Now I'm going to take just a tiny little bit of powder. I did not powder at all. I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the color One Fair. And I'll apply it with this mini cheek brush from Sonia G. This is where it drives me crazy when I shine right here. I do like to apply a little bit of powder under the eye. And you can see that this the forehead is just too shiny. Bit of powder in there as well. I do want to mention that the skin right now it's not greasy so this uh, sheen that you can see on my skin actually comes from this primer. This is a very very brightening. In a beautiful way it's perfectly fine to be used on its own on days when you don't want to use makeup. Be aware of the fact that it's very important the foundation that you use on top of a brightening product. So if if it has too much coverage or foundation it's going to completely take away that sheen, that brightness from whatever you're using. This is definitely not new on my channel. RMS Magic Luminizer. A great way to apply this product is with your fingers really. Take the product on the back of your hands. It's so pretty and very natural. Like it's a it's that kind of shimmer that looks like skin. Do that very very lightly. Else you're going to grab the foundation and the blush and whatever you've used under. I'm going to add some lashes and these are sweet lashes in collaboration with Nikki Makeup. Alright ladies, we've got the final look with lashes and everything. I am going to set everything with this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is cheap and effective. Plus, I think it has the best spray uh, out of everything I've ever used. This is so fine. Like, check this out. We've got Morphe in France as well. If you're in the US, you can find this in Ulta, online, everywhere. I mean, you're in the US. You have everything in there. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Two eyeshadows, that's it. And that brown eyeliner that is just so much more forgiving than the black one. Don't get me wrong, I love black eyeliner, but sometimes it just steals the look. It's It becomes all about the eyeliner. Try with a brown one, I'm sure you're going to like it. And if you don't have a brown eyeliner, use just a pencil. Use whatever you like, whatever you have. The colors that I was using in this video, they are in so many palettes. You don't have to get these ones in particular. Find everything that I was using, including my earrings and my top. 
in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Click on the ring bell button. Follow me on Instagram if you wish. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I see you. Put that order down. Put it down. Slowly. Cancel. Cancel. Don't leave it in the wish list. Okay, don't leave it in the wish list. Take it away. You're gonna feel better, trust me. You wanna know the truth? Pajamas, okay? Because I live in pajamas. <laughs>